If you'd like to see how I created this lovely masterpiece with paint, crushed glass, and mirror and glitter, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today I am going to be painting on this 18 by 24 canvas. I'm going to be making some artwork for my bathroom. I have a few things here that I'm going to be using and this is going to be a part of my bathroom makeover series. So this is one of many videos that's going to come. So I'm going to let you know exactly what I'm going to do and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have this, it's called Tri Art Liquid Glass. It's called a pouring medium or a resin, um, a finish resin. I tried to do as much research as possible. It basically says that it dries very smooth and glossy. Use for a clear finishing coat or add color for color pours. Apply by pouring with a spreading tool, um, rigid surfaces recommended. To obtain a thick layer, apply in multiple thinner layer, layers. Um, so this is, I guess, basically if you want to call it a one-step epoxy, but it's not epoxy. It's a, I guess, a better alternative to using resin. Because I watched a lot of these videos, people making these beautiful wall art displays, and some of them use epoxy. But then I saw a few people and they were using the Tri Art Liquid Glass. I said, let me try this out. This was on Amazon where I purchased it and this was about $18. I think that might be including shipping. So we're gonna check this out. Some people use Mod Podge, but they said that it didn't hold as well sometimes with the glitter in the glass. So we'll see because my yellow glass is pretty thick and pretty big. This is my first time crunching up my own glass. And, um, it didn't get as fine and small as the store-bought glass, so we'll just see what works best here. So to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and squirt my colors on and just kind of blend them. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just gently taking my time with this brush and just kind of blending in the yellow into the canvas. The color name of this canvas is called um, Real Yellow. Then I'll be using a deep dark gray, and I think it's called Elephant Gray, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I really like the brightness of this yellow. It's so pretty. So you just take your time and mind you, this is my very first time doing this and I found that this was fairly easy. So I feel like I can say that this video is definitely beginner friendly. Be sure to cover your edges of your canvas with paint as well. this color looks it's so just I don't know it's like the perfect yellow my yellows may be a little different in my um, bathroom but I'm not really gonna make a big deal out of it but so far I like the way this yellow is is, is looking pretty nice I don't want this to be perfect looking I kind of want it to be um a little jagged. Okay, so now that I have went ahead and blended in the yellow very good, I am going to pour on my gray paint, as you can see. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out really good. I did use the same brush. I just rinsed it out with really hot water, dabbed it off with a paper towel, and I used the very same brush and I blended um, my gray. 
and I feel like it's looking pretty good already. Okay, so I let that dry some. It's still a little damp, but I think it's dry enough for me to go ahead and add on the medium pouring. Again, this is my first time using this. There's not too much information on the website or online about how to use it. I just kind of saw how other people use it on their paintings. So I'm just kind of gonna go back and forth and brush the glue in and put my heavy pieces of glass on it first. Now, I don't have a squirt bottle big enough for this, but I like the spout on this liquid glass. It does have like a little squirting mechanism on there. So I just kind of went from side to side. Then I'm gonna take, um, I think a sponge brush and then blend that even more. So I'm just adding the liquid glass now. So wherever you're smoothing your liquid glass, Mod Podge, or resin, whichever one you decide to use, that is where you're going to add your crushed glass and your glitters. That is where you're going to add that because that's what it's going to stick to once it cures. And you probably want to go a little heavy with your liquid glass if you're using the heavier crushed glass. And then you'll add your glitter maybe to the lighter areas because you really want that to hold. You don't want glass and mirror coming off of your artwork and then getting onto the floor. That just wouldn't be good. That glass is very sharp. So that's why I'm wearing gloves. Um, you may not have to wear gloves. I didn't at first, um, but I just don't want to get cut. So I'm adding these um, glitter flakes. They're like little pieces of foil all cut up, but they have some very nice shine. I wanted this to be as blingy and as glittery and as chunky as possible. That's what I was going for. So I'm just gonna pretty much dump a lot of glitter and flakes and glass on here and just hope for the best. Adding more crushed glass. 
I just want to fill this up. I like how I can I like how I can still see my chunky I like how I can see my chunky yellow crushed glass on the on the gray side. I really do like that. So last but not least, I'm adding my fine glitter. Not extra fine, but this is fine glitter. And it's a holographic silver glitter. Okay, so I'll wait um, for about maybe 10 hours or so and pour this off and then see what we have. Okay, so it has been at least six hours. Um, it's like the next day. I did this like in the middle of the night and I feel like it sat long enough. I am going to go ahead and shake off the excess glittering glass and see what we have here. bin I purchased this from Michaels I love this bin so I'm just gonna go ahead and angle this downward hopefully it fits in here you always want to have some type of excess brush to shake off what isn't gonna stay Just give it a gentle tap on the back. A gentle tap. And then the rest, take your brush and brush it like this. And I wanted this to be very, very blingy, very chunky. And so far, I am pleased with how it's looking. And I know some people hang it um, dark to light, light to dark. I think I will hang it up from light to dark, but that's completely your preference. And I feel like this wasn't a very difficult thing to do. So if you want to make something like this, for your home, um, whether it's going to go in your bathroom, your bedroom, or wherever, this is actually a really good idea, and I think it's very, it's very affordable as well. So I'm just going to keep dusting this off. Okay, so I just want to show you guys the fall off I had. Um, not too crazy, but I did sprinkle quite a bit of the glitter on there. I can't put this back in my glitter container because of course there's glass all in it. But I still want to keep this, um, what's in here, so I'll just put that in the Ziploc bag. Now, I did a lot of shaking, a lot of dusting. There's still just little gentle amounts of small glass and glitter that's falling. So, um, when I watched and researched people doing these, I didn't particularly see them sealing this with anything. They just kind of just dusted it off really good and they kept it moving. Um, I just want to make sure that if a, a fan blows or a breeze comes through, there's not so much glitter everywhere. I'm just going to go in and take a little bit of my Podge and just kind of sponge over some of the glitter hopefully this doesn't make anything look any less shiny I don't want to 
spray it with anything. I think this should be enough to just tap it a little bit. This is optional, or if anyone knows a different way to kind of seal um, Or I wonder if I could have went over it with a liquid glass. It's my first time using this liquid glass. I like it. I think it's holding everything pretty sturdy. I like that it's nice and clear. But I just want to go over this with just a little bit. And then I'll let that dry. And then I'll just reveal the final result. But so far, I am um, deeply satisfied with the outcome of this. I just have to figure out the best method of hanging this up in my bathroom. But I think the yellow is perfect. It matches my rugs and towels pretty well. So once this is dry, then we'll come back. Okay, so there's nothing like natural light. I had to bring this out into the sunlight just to show you how it's hitting, honey. I love this. This is the final finished result. I love how the paint is just so nice and smooth. These colors came together just so excellently. I love this. Now, all the sparkle is just twinkling. I love, love, love this. You know I love the bling. I love the bling. I'm gonna show you in the next couple um, clips of this video, me hanging it up in my bathroom. But I am so in love with this, you guys. Okay, so this is the area in my bathroom where I'm going to put the artwork. Um, I had some previous um, mirrors here. I took them down and some of the paint got ripped off right there. Uh, so luckily my canvas art will cover that up because it was some 3M tape on it and that's what that is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I have my hammer and I have some screws. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my screws. Just two small screws about right here. About there. And want to make sure it's even. So I have this ruler, and this will be the new home. Never mind my shower curtain. I still haven't completed everything yet. And if you would like to see the full video on how I'm going to put everything together, check another series of my bathroom DIY. And this is going to make sense once everything is completed. Okay, you guys, this is the final finished product. I let you see how it look outside with the natural light. It is so blingy and so pretty. I am so in love with this artwork. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed recording this video. I'm so proud of this. I wanna make one in every color. They're just so pretty. And this is something that you can definitely do. All you have to do is make sure that you spread out your paint. Yes. Um, thanks again for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to. If not, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.